All right, so you know we had to play this. Firefight Legendary King of the Hill. So there are aspects of this Winter Contingency 3 update that I feel like 343 really nailed, but also kind of dropped the ball a little bit. The massive W being Firefight Legendary King of the Hill. This is exactly what we needed for the game to kind of give that little extra bit of a challenge that could be used within that mode. Though 343 did state that Legendary version has rotated in, meaning likely it will rotate out, which honestly I think it's a good use of it to kind of get people excited for when Legendary does roll in to get people excited about playing it. 343 did a very similar thing with Mythic Warzone Firefight and it was rather successful and we'll touch on this Legendary King Hill a little bit later in the video. The Operation Pass I think is rather well done. Some cool customization especially when it comes to the armor customization and coatings at the end when it comes to the holiday theme stuff. It's all pretty good. And yes, I did splurge on the coating here. I just think it looks awesome. And you know how we've seen snow fire within the game, right? Well, it seems like it might be kind of difficult to find because snow fire has been rotated into the following playlist, all your typical social modes. The problem is, is that we have a lot of maps now within the game. So for example, let's check out the quick play playlist and the game list here. You can see there's a lot of options within this. We see snow fire in there once with the oddball variant. Scrolling down, still waiting. There we go. We got the Slayer variant as well. Scroll down. We got the Stronghold variant on top of that. With the, this is all within the Quick Play playlist, which is gonna, which is higher up in the playlist for options. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of people jump into this. And so with all these other maps mixed in, unless it's in a very high rotation, you won't really be coming across Snowfire too often. And honestly, I was kind of hoping for more of a special mode, kind of like we had in Halo 5, was like Super Fiesta and snow maps, multiple snow maps, but this time it's just live fire. I can understand it being kind of difficult. We're just 343 probably just did the best they could to get this out in time. It's something that we've asked for the last two winter contingencies. So I guess, that, you know, at least it's in there now. I just wish we took all the vanilla maps and just made them into snow versions and made it into to like a fiesta or some kind of fun little ver variation of it. Well, let's solo jump into Firefight Legendary King of the Hill and let's talk about the changes made with this mode and the changes they've made to the rank up and the XP that you earn within this mode. By the way, I have to do YouTube stuff. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure to tap like and also subscribe if you're part of that 80 some odd percent of people who watch the channel who are not subscribed. Well, you know what to do to stay in tune with all the details. Look at my Spartan looking super clean. Of course, you know, I had to put the original Winter Contingency skins on because come on, it's the season. I got the repair field. I need to go put this on top of the Warhog because that is crucial within this mode. Though it doesn't seem like 343 took the time to balance out the... Oh, come on! Though it seems like 343 did not take the time to balance out the whole assist issue when it comes to driving the vehicles within Firefight King of the Hill. Because if you're not getting kills, you're not really getting points, which means you're not progressing your event pass. You're not progressing your career ranks either. But you know what? I'll take one for the team because this is legendary Firefight we need to be optimized and utilizing vehicles is crucial within this mode for success oh no both my teammates are dead all my friends are dead and there's no auto revive either so you have to actually manually go pick up your friends if you're trying to continue on your firefight extravaganza and being down within the first round is concerning. I'm gonna get the whole squad back up in here. I don't know if these guys recognize that legendary works a little different, but we'll have to see. So some of the changes, maybe this you might have seen at the beginning of this round, that normally with Firefight in Halo Infinite, you start with a assault rifle and the bandit rifle. This one, you start with a pistol and assault rifles. So a little bit weaker for the players, but not too good. What happened to my tracks, dude? Oh my goodness, what is this? Look how huge that is. That's what she said. Come on team, I need you just to stay on this hill. This first hill is not looking good for us. And they scored the hill. Team! Also, the XP gain rates have been increased when it comes to heroic and legendary firefight, which I'd say should be been done in the first place. Should reward players for testing their skills a little bit more. And effectively, what they did is they took the, all the flyers from big team battle and then just put it into this mode. Wait, where'd the Warhog go? I really hope my teammates took it. I really hope it just didn't despawn, because if that's gone, we're screwed. So the Banished have already taken the first two hills against us. I'm a little concerned of what's happening here. We've also had teammate leave, which is even better. A really important change that was also made when it comes to this update, that the challenge system should be a little bit more androgynous, is a good way to put it. Effectively, you should be able to make progress on your challenges when it comes to either playing Firefight or PvP. So you can still get your weekly challenges on, get your rank ups and all that good stuff. Literally can't let them cap this hill. If they do it, it's game over. Though apparently the weekly ultimate is still 
still tied to PvP stuff, so I'm sure that will be improved eventually over time, but we'll just kind of have to wait and see when that does come around. But overall, good steps in the right direction. I like what 343 has done with this mode so far. Definitely seems like matchmaking rated kind of difficulty, where it's like, yeah, you kind of have to test your skill a little bit more, right? I mean, we already had our casual players just bounce out of this lobby because it was too difficult for them. I definitely feel like I need to be a little bit more thoughtful of my movement, where I stand within the map and things like that. Focusing more on helping out my team. Fighting my freaking life out here, man. Like, I'm busting out the battle rifle because I'm like, I need to get these kills right now. There we go. Oh, my God, at least coming in, though. I mean, big bad boys coming in. This is not good for me. Not good for my health. Especially being the solo guy on the hill at the moment. Gonna go grab this repair field because she ikes, dude. Oh my god! As long as we have one guy on the hill, we'll be fine. We don't need a whole squad of boys. Dude, I am stressing in this mode right now, trying to keep up with everybody. Why is no one in my team on the hill? Oh my goodness. Fighting for my life out here, man. I don't team get downed. Oh no. Oh no. I think the repair field. Oh, I'm about to get down too. Shucks. Let's get that repair field and get it in time. Let's see if I can get this repair field, pick up my teammates with it, and then continue on to success. No! Oh, we lost, dude. It was so hard to keep up. My teammates keep getting down so quickly. That definitely wasn't happening in Heroic, man. Of course, we were down a player because he quit out because he got mad. But let's check out the challenges and see what we actually earned within this right here. What kind of challenges we actually completed. And yeah, we got made some progress right here. You can see this very just like play a match, complete matches, earning killing spree medal, which is incredibly easy within Firefight, which is really nice. You also have the cumulative score stuff. Let's also check out the rest of the different types of challenges we can get as well after we get our XP rates right here. Again, we only got 1500 because, well, my team. Uh, so we have a new challenge of just like win matches. I love how just generalized these challenges are. These are all just kind of stuff. Just jump in, play the game. You'll earn medals. You'll earn XP. It's really great to see this. Let me know what your thoughts are on this Winter Contingency 3 update. If you've missed any videos from me recently, check out this video right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.